It's the super moon. Okay, not really. Um, hey everybody, this is Jam Creates uh, doing another comic book review. This time we're doing Midnight Mystery Issue 1 from Alterna Comics. Um, this is like a like a supernatural mystery uh, story. Obviously you can see supernatural suspense. Um, this is uh, the first issue in a four issue limited series. Um, it's by uh, Bernie Gonzalez and Wes Loker. Uh, I believe Wes did the lettering. Um, so let's just jump into it here. Um, again, well, for anyone who doesn't know, Alterna Comics, everything they put out, all their floppies are $1.50. They print on newsprint, and they're for a buck fifty. So you can't go wrong. Um, anyway, uh, let's get to it. First of all, this is a great cover. Uh, it really grabs your attention. And it really conveys the feel of what this is going to be. All just in this one image tells you everything you need to know. We've got the detective with the flashlight going down the dark alley, the ghostly hands, the moon, the red sky, the blood trail. Like, obviously, you can tell this is going to be, even without it saying supernatural suspense, you would already know that. And the title's great, too. Midnight Mystery, that's a great title. Uh, so anyway... It is the story of Ezekiel Zeke King, who is a detective who investigates uh, strange and mysterious happenings and stuff. Um, so we start off with him just giving like a little narration, which of course is very, you know, classic detective giving the narration, you know, um, and he's talking about, uh, you know, he's, so he's on his way, he's making these tapes as, like, evidence of his crazy cases and of things that shouldn't exist, but they do, you know, like, there are things, you know, things that shouldn't be, you know, and, uh, that's what he's talking about, and he's making these tapes to make sense of it all. So, we see him, he's headed somewhere, we're not quite sure what's going on, he goes to this mansion... And uh, his client hired him. Now, he's telling this story uh, in the past. He's saying, you know, uh, some time ago I was hired for a seemingly straightforward job. Good money, too. And considering that most days I meet my clients in back rooms and back alleys, it was a welcome change of pace to travel to Blue Blood Row. Um, time period? I mean, just from, you know, looking at the, the reel-to-reel -reel and the microphone and all that... Um, they don't, they don't specify the time, but you can kind of get a feel. Um, so it's it's actually uh, the story um, is fantastic. He gets called to this to this mansion, uh, which was the home of a guy who used to host like creepy late night movies. Uh, you know, like the the late 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 movie where they would show like bad horror films, and you know they would always be like this creepy host character who would introduce the movies. Um, and this is basically his butler um, who is hiring the detective because apparently uh, Count Karloff, which is his name, that well, that was his stage name. That wasn't his real name. Um, apparently, he was always pretty much alone um, other than his butler being there. And while he did have romances and stuff, he was never married. Um, but apparently, he did have a child. He had a son. And so the butler is hiring the detective to find the son, to, to find the heir so that, you know, he can show him what happened. You know, he can, he can tell him who his father really was. And they give you background on who uh, uh, Roland Blackwood, that was the, the Count Karloff's real name. They give you his background and his story and... Eventually, the detective does track down the son, um, but I, I don't want to spoil. I, you know, I get into this every time, and you guys must love me for this. I hope um, I don't want to spoil it, especially something like this. I'm certainly not going to spoil the ending of the issue. Um, so let's just get into the, um, just the. I'll get into like the critique portion of the. Uh, or whatever you want to call it, of this review. Um, we'll start with uh, the art. 
clearly, I mean, if you're looking at this art like I am, you are absolutely seeing the influence of Batman the Animated Series on this, on this book. Everything from the coloring to, you know, just the style of the characters, the style of the, uh, the way the characters' faces are drawn is very Batman the Animated Series, um, which is certainly not a bad thing. Uh, clearly influenced by Bruce Timm. I mean, the square jaw. I mean, look at this picture right here. A little bit of a different color palette, and I wonder who that would look like. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I mean, and you can see just the, you know, the darkness, the overall darkness of everything. It really is just awesome. I mean, you know, I mean, the bottom line is I'm going to just, let's just cut through all the BS, and I'm just going to tell you right now. I absolutely 100% recommend you go out and buy this book. If you have to, if you can get it from your local comic shop, great. If they don't have it anymore, go to the Alterna store, the Etsy store, um, and order it from there. Whatever you've, whatever you've got to do, it may even be on Comixology. It'll be a dollar on, it'll be 99 cents on Comixology if you get it there. Um, but I absolutely wholeheartedly recommend you pick up this book. Uh, if you are at all a fan of Batman the Animated Series, reading this, looking at it, it looks and feels to me like this could 100% have been a spinoff of Batman the Animated Series, honestly. Um, I really do feel that way. I feel like if it were a different time if they would have let's say maybe they would have done one episode of batman the animated series where they introduced zeke as a character because batman got involved in some weird case and then from there that was your introduction and then from there they went on and created their own series a spin-off series starring him this would be it and it's just pitch perfect i mean like honestly i i absolutely my highest highest praise for this book um the story is fantastic um and when you get to the end of the first issue you will be i'm gonna tell you this right now okay three issues have come out so far now as of the this recording three issues are out do yourself a favor if you take my recommendation and you do get go out and get issue and go look for issue one Go ahead and pick up issue two also. Um, just do, in fact, just pick up all three issues that are out. But even if you're just not sure, you're on the fence, you don't want to buy three issues because, you know, $4.50 for three issues is too much for you or whatever it is, um, or you're just not sure, buy the first two. Just trust me on that. You're doing yourself a favor. Um, and then when you read them, you're going to go out and you're going to buy issue three. Just trust me. I'm going to review all three issues, but... Honest to goodness, um, I know I'm spoiling myself, my own channel here by saying this. They're all fantastic. This book is great. I read this issue and could not wait to jump into the next one. Couldn't wait to jump right into the next one. It's absolutely fantastic. The art is incredible. The... Well, I don't want to... I don't want to spoil that. Um... The art is absolutely fantastic. It is top notch. Looks like Batman the Animated Series 100%. And the coloring is great. The coloring matches everything so perfectly. Like it sets such a mood of uneasiness, of suspense. It's just so good. And and the story, the dialogue the story itself, the mystery that it sets up, the way the whole thing plays out, and the way it ends the issue, so, so good. I mean, really, really good. Um, I just absolutely, 100% just recommend that you will enjoy this book. This book, if you've got, and I'm sorry, but if you've got any kind of taste, this book is great. This book will absolutely, you will enjoy it. 100%. I could not recommend it higher. Like, honestly, I, I'm 100%. This, I, I couldn't recommend, recommend this book more. 
Um, it is absolutely fantastic. The story is great. The art is great. The feeling is great. The suspense, the mystery. It really does live up to the title. It lives up to this art. You know, there's a promise. It's kind of funny because if you think about it, as an artist, taking on this style is a risk because you're taking on a beloved art style. And if you use this art style to tell a story that's just lame and it's just not very good, you're hurt. You're really putting yourself behind the eight ball because people are going to see this art and they're going to have an expectation of what this is. They're going to have an expectation of quality, even though it is not at all associated with Batman the Animated Series. The clear influence is going to make you expect that type of quality and 100% delivers. Absolutely. So in case you were somehow just not paying attention or you're just really dense, um, clearly I am recommending you to pick up this book. Um, Midnight Mystery, Issue 1, Bernie Gonzalez. Awesome job, dude absolutely fantastic top-notch stuff and uh peter over at alterna bless you for seeing it and for picking it up so that we could read it uh really that's a that i mean to me it would have been a no-brainer i'm sure it probably was for you too a no-brainer to pick up and publish this thing uh but really just great great job and uh i can't wait to share with you the rest and i can't wait to read the rest uh so anyway uh, if you like this video, please click the like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our, our numbers are growing. Our numbers are growing. We're getting close to 120 now, so we're getting there. Um, just an update for anybody who was concerned. We didn't do, I didn't do, we, like there's a mouse in my pocket. Um, well, when I, you know what? At this point, I probably can say we because it's me, it's you guys, Zach, it's Beans, my dog. Um, we have a whole cast here, so we. We didn't post a video yesterday. Um, I, like I said, the upload schedule could get a little affected by family issues. That is in fact what happened yesterday. Um, so thank you for anyone who was concerned. Uh, but we got a video today and we should be cranking them out. I'm gonna try and get a bunch of them going again. Uh, I don't like to miss days, you guys know that. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's just a quick little update on me. Uh, so anyway, Midnight Mystery, number one from Alterna Comics, Bernie Gonzalez, Wes Loker. Dude, get it. Just get it. Don't even like, just just get it. Just go, stop right now. You watched the whole video already. Just go and get the book, okay? All right. Peace.